Hello friends, welcome back. I am Agam and you are in my channel Agam's Tech Tricks. So recently Docker Desktop was available for Linux and uh, here they had also written a blog about it. So like uh, it is uh, to get started with desktop for Linux visit the Docker Docs. So today I will show you how to install Docker with Docker Desktop on Arc Linux. So I am on Endeavor OS uh, which is based on Arc and uh, this thing and this uh, st these steps which I will show uh, will work on any Arc based distribution or pure Arc itself. So let's start. First of all to use the Docker desktop we need to install Docker which is the base. So uh, first here I will link you this in the description the official in this official wiki of the Arc Linux. So after here click installation and you will have the guide. So uh, first of all we need to install the docker base which can be done by either installing the docker package in the official arc repositories or the docker git package which is the development version in the or repositories like arc user repository. So I will go with the stable one. What you have to do is uh, just like use any uh, use a terminal open the terminal. So here I will go with the docker uh, like the one in the official repo stable one. So what you have to do is open the terminal and uh, here uh, run the uh, command uh, to install docker using pacman and then press enter it will ask you for your password. I will uh, give you the command in the description also. Now here uh, proceed with installation just click Y and continue. Here we now have docker. So basically yeah, like this. So you can check if it's running like with the sudo docker info. Uh, before uh, you're running sudo docker info first you have to turn on the docker service. So what you have to just do is here the docker.service I actually forgot this step so what you have to do is just run sudo systemctl enable dash dash now docker.service so basically this will start the docker service and then you can try running sudo docker info sudo docker info so like uh, it will show you all the info of your system and then uh, like if you want to uh, use docker as a non-root user so uh, there's uh, also the uh, documents are there in this uh, their official wiki so here like i can uh, like i will link this in the description also so what you have to do is just add this uh, add your username to the docker group and then uh, you have to restart your system uh, and then it will automatically work as non-root. So I am skipping this step because uh, I don't actually require it for now. And I will just continue with installing Docker Desktop. So what you have to do is I will give you uh, the link of the Docker website also. How to install the Docker Desktop in uh, like the description. And uh, just go here. And here it, there are the steps like install the client binaries uh, like we just did the Docker base. And then we have to do the uh, docker client binary like we just did. And then we have to install the arc release of docker desktop from the release page. I will link you in this description. Here. Like deb, rpm and arc. So arc uh, release is like currently experimental. But uh, as, as I tried so uh, it worked pretty good for me. So I will just go with it. Download it. So it's downloaded and it's probably downloaded in the default uh, downloads folder like which is the default one. So here I have it. So here basically uh, to install it we have to install this package uh, with the upgrade command of uh, pacman. Because it's uh, not really in the uh, official repository yet. So open your terminal in the downloads folder. Either you can uh, do it with cd and open the downloads folder or just right click uh, wherever you are like if you have this nautilus or even in the dolphin file manager uh, we have that right click and open it terminal here so after just doing that uh, run sudo pacman minus u uh, dash u which is the like the upgrade command and then dot slash add this docker package again enter a password now here 
it will install the docker desktop package so now uh, it's installed by uh, it's now installed so now uh, open the docker desktop app it will take some time to start here our service agreement has changed and i accept the terms uh, like this is the basic startup here like this uh, as i had already installed one so uh, it's not showing the regular startup one maybe so uh, what you have to do is uh, just click try again or it might uh, ask you to log in so uh, or just click here sign in and then log in i'll just click try again and it will log in here log into docker so what you have to do is just enter your email id and password the regular one like it's not compulsory to log in but i'm just doing it for now here like this it will verify the credentials and now i am logging and now it will start uh, say that docker desktop starting one more thing so uh, it might ask you wait a second here uh, it might ask you like to uh, create a gpg key and then uh, uh, init the pass like this command so uh, you have to do that as i've already done that before so just run this command first gpg generate key and then enter your email id and password and then uh, it will show you a uh, like id and using that just run pass in it and whatever id you got and after that try opening a uh, docker desktop again and the issue might be fixed i'll link you that all page also in the description here so after this now we have successfully uh, installed docker desktop and it's running also so like uh, if i run a container in a in the terminal like here let me try it will pull some files again because i am running a like container here so in the containers now it's showing that a container is being run and in the images it has just downloaded the image uh, just like we have uh, we use a docker desktop in windows so it's basically the same but it's like supports our uh, linux now and it also supports ubuntu and fedora but uh, even uh, but like uh, it even supports ubuntu fedora but uh, this video will is showing you how to install it on arc linux so uh, like it's already running the command we just ran and also if you uh, don't want to run from here like from the terminal there are also some uh, images like uh, which are already there in the app itself or uh, some recommended one or it's on the docker hub so like uh, it will show you the command and then uh, you can manage here like just we normally do on windows also so like here we can use uh, and we can run an engine server and part to the static content directory it will ask you like everything so yes like that and you can stop the container uh, open the cli for that and then you can manage it see the logs and normally just like we do and uh, a new thing it also has some extensions uh, the official one so basically like uh, here it's made by a docker so we can just check the disk usage like how much disk is used by all the containers overall so to install any of them uh, just click install there are many more others uh, by an official and you can even uh, side load yours it's in their guide here like this it's pulling the docker image of the con uh, extension and here like this the contain uh, like the extension is installed and here it's showing me how much disk has been used like i uh, ran that uh, hello uh, starting getting started one so it took like a uh, 31 mb something so uh, and there are more also like logs explorer for example 
so it will show you all the logs of the containers and there are like many many more like also and you can even make yours or get from the marketplace like there will be soon more on the internet too again it's like installing here so in the log explorer here it has shown all the logs etc so it's like that and we have the home volumes uh, like whichever volume it created but it didn't yet and we can create and clean up and everything uh, just like we have a uh, docker desktop on windows so here like we have now comes the uninstallation part so like if you uh, un want to uninstall docker desktop like only the docker desktop i will show and the normal uninstallation steps of the docker uh, i won't cover in this video because this video is specifically about the docker desktop only and here in the arc wiki also they have the instructions for uninstalling docker desktop like the normal docker one and uh, i'll show you how to uninstall docker desktop so here like this like uh, first of all just clean up everything like no need actually but i'm still doing so what you have to do is open the terminal and then uh, like uh, they also have in their guide from where uh, i showed you how to install docker desktop here uninstalling docker desktop so first of all uh, just remove docker desktop from your system and uh, to remove the extra dependencies it installed uh, like uh, required for the application and the normal catch files you can uh, run minus a uh, dash r in s instead of just r i'll show you dash r in s docker minus desktop and just press a tab button to auto complete it then enter your password here it will ins uninstall the pass which was like installed with the docker desktop and the tree command uh, so just click y and enter and here it has stopped the docker desktop now to completely uninstall it like remove the external files it made and then remove the login info etc you have to run uh, these two commands this is actually i don't know they added by mistake looks like uh, so you have to just run these two commands to properly clean properly prop so you have to like just run these two commands to properly clean up so no need of sudo actually because it's in the home directory and here uh, to remove the same link uh, because i have already uh, uninstalled so yes it has already removed if it has not you can run this command and just so like this we have uninstalled docker desktop and it's not there in our system it's just showing the file so thanks for watching my video make sure to subscribe to my channel and i also have a telegram channel at retagum tech tricks so make sure to join that because i regularly send some news tech tips general knowledge and sometimes quizzes also so many good things thanks for watching